Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome. So today's video is about promoting fibre art. So if you're new to the channel this year, August is the month I promote fibre art in different ways. One of the ways in my local area is I leave um, little crocheted goods attached to, attached to a key ring and packaged around the area for someone to find at random. Random acts of kindness, promoting fibre art. And it's been quite successful. Um, and yes, I do like and enjoy doing it and seeing who finds them. So this time I thought, I'm still doing that, but I thought I'd do some shout out videos to some smaller channels I watch and some that I have discovered this year. So let's get started. I've got notes so I can remember everything about the channels. First channel is Grace Kayser. She's in the USA. She's a new young podcaster. For me, anyone under 50 is young. She has about 12 videos up, but she only has 11 subscribers last time I looked. And she's just so lovely and sweet. She crochets and she's learning to knit and she produces such lovely work. I think she's a lefty crocheter for all you lefties. I'm going to link the, her video, My 8 Most Favourite Crochet Projects. Because in that is a crocheted mandala she's got on the wall that is truly beautiful and she's very talented. So make sure you check out Grace Kayser. Next off the ranks is Angela's Heirlooms and More. Last time I checked, she had 72 subscribers. Angela's just won my Facebook group giveaway and was very appreciative of the prize. Now her videos are generally short and sweet and slideshows which I like when I'm watching on a quick break at work. And I'm going to link her video all about the babies. This I watched this when I was checking out baby blanket projects and looking for a pattern. Um, she's really got some great projects on her other videos too. Hope your moment. Got massive nervous hiccup then. <laughs> So Trish the Knitting Lady is my next shout out. I've watched Trish for a long time. She has 127 subscribers. She was the major participant prize winner in my Make Along Yarn Vacation Hey You. She's a lot of fun. She always makes me laugh and I do enjoy watching her. She is currently doing vlog every day in August. I can't pronounce how they say it. And um, some of her videos have been quite interesting. I really like seeing the boomerang shawls she's making. I'm going to link her 1st of August video, video. She got some interesting yarn hauls and she's joined a charity knitting group, um, which is, always makes me feel grateful that I know a person who's kind and generous and when he, willing to give away some of the things they make. The next one I discovered through um, Trish the Knitting Lady, it, it's... Isla or Isla's Crafting Life. I'm sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. She has 375 subscribers. I watched her doing some drops, drop spinning, drops, drop spindle spinning, I think they call it. It's a hobby I've been considering starting to learn and I found her videos really interesting. She's also vlogging every day in August, so make sure you check her out. Now this is a channel that's been around for a while and the shout is out is mainly to do with their charity make along. Charm Grammy Crochet, the Boogie, Boogie Creek Blanket make along. It's time again to donate blankets. So if you're making blankets in the USA because postage is expensive, you can donate them to the Boogie Creek Blanket make along. Now I will link um, Lynette's video so you can check out all the rules that like me there's different for our charities there's different sizes or sizes you have to make it's such a worthwhile cause and a great way to be inspired to use up your scrap yarn or some of your yarn stash I did a collab with Madonna Ballard for yarn vacation she made the blanket I paid the postage she did all the work I just wrote out a check or PayPal and yeah, we, you know, we collabed on donating a blanket. So maybe you can even think about that. Maybe you could, I don't know, pull your blankets and save on postage. 
They're looking for um, participant prize donations for people who donate blankets, and I'll probably consider donating a prize. I've just got to work out what's the best thing to do. Please make sure you watch this video from start to finish and give it a thumbs up. It does help them with the make-along, some of the hidden costs of the make-along. So that's my video for promoting fibre art. All the link links to these channels will be in the description below. I'd really appreciate it if you go over, watch them, give them a thumbs up and subscribe if it suits you. But um, yes, it's always great to help smaller channels grow and become more involved in our Yarni community. It's also great to donate to charity such as the Boogie Creek Blanket Make Along. Um, it always gives me a good feeling and tomorrow I go off to my Crochet for Cancer group and donate what I've made. They put a call out for some beanies in solid colours, so the last couple of days I've been making those. There's always something interesting to make when charities put a call out. So guys, until next time, stay safe, stay well, and be inspired by these channels that I've shouted out today. And remember to promote fiber art. If you make something promoting fiber art, please hashtag it. Promote August. No, promote fiber art AU. Let's make that hashtag. Promote fiber art AU. I'll put the hashtag. If you post it on Facebook or Instagram, use that hashtag so I can see what you've been making. Until next time, bye for now.